Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video In this video we'll be going and fighting the boss in the dream realm today and it's uh, some people are telling me that they're not finding the best teams and the best lineups even when they search uh, versus uh, other players what they're using and they're trying to use what they have as well like the Friesto team is the best team right now and Friesto is really good in every single bosses they're using their one copy of Friesto and it's not working or two copies uh, be before Legendary Plus he doesn't work that much at Legendary Plus yes you can use him at Mythic Plus he becomes better and for Cyclops it's not Skyclops it's not this important if you're free to play you can always rank in the top 50 as you see I'm ranking in the top 50 of course with more levels uh, Dura's uh, charms I'll be even making more better lineups for this and uh, it's kind of consistent for my lineup now there's two lineups that you can play one if you build Rainier uh, and one without Rainier so I'm gonna show you both of the teams this is my most consistent team so far everything at Supreme or Supreme Plus so I have four units at Supreme Plus and Coco is at Mythic Plus or Supreme which is the most pivotal point for her to get her at Mythic Plus for the shielding for the buffing for defense and for attack now of course I'm using as well the evocation spell it's a seasonal spell I know that it gives you crit rate and gives you attack plus it gives you shield and it gives you attack speed which is haste which is absolutely good now the par point here that I'm playing three carries and Smokey is a semi carry if you want to say he's not a carry but he deals a decent amount of damage and he's gonna tank and his tanking will go until the end of the battle nobody will die here on the lineup now unless you're using a uh, mythic plus which I recommend highly to go with just for mythic plus Rainier and don't go for more than mythic plus Rainier here he will help you a lot through this bosses of course you can use Kruger if you get him to Mythic plus which I did I got him to Supreme as well and he's doing fine these are the best two teams so far if you're free to play and if you don't have a uh, hypo and uh, celestial built now if you have for yes to build instead of Rainier that's absolutely fine if you want to go and look at the best teams right now it's using three Hypo and Celestial units, which is Friesto, Rainier, and Scarlita. Now, Smokey, of course, with the sustainability, and Marilee still the highest damage on this boss because of her true damage that she does. Absolutely fantastic. Evocation spell is the best spell to be used. And these units are at Paragon. If you check here, Supreme plus two and two at Paragon, which is really good. This is why they're dealing higher numbers. Now, if you have the same comp and dealing less numbers, this is because they did more investment on their units, so their stats are dealing a lot of damage. This is what you need to keep in line. Now, of course, there's a lineup that I want to show you, which is kind of free to play, not super free to play, but almost. I don't know where it is. I think uh, here it is. So uh, big shout out to this guy, Rocket Surgery. He's playing Corrin and he's playing Marily as damage dealers. He's playing Kruger for debuffing and because he deals a little bit of damage. And Smokey, of course, he's stable in this lineup. And he's building Rainier or he's playing Rainier. Rainier buffs our Marily and she deals a lot of damage. Now this artifact that he's using is also good, to be honest, but it's not that good if you didn't build it to more and more. So I have 22 here. It's giving me the survivability, even with this lineup that he created. It's dealing more damage and better scores than using the Quick Blade. Now, Quick Blade is really good because it stacks up with the Kruger debuffing on the boss. And it gives you crit, it gives you magical defense, physical defense, and attack. So your lineup would survive and Rainier would survive until the last laser, if we're going to talk about the last laser. Now, Evocation Spell uh, did work better for me because Rainier was not... Uh, surviving with the quick blade spell but with the evocation spell he's getting the shield when at the end most of the time it's rng sometimes the boss does drop the laser sometimes not and sometimes he drops more uh, uh units so it's very rng for him to drop mobs or not for you to capitalize and make more damage i'm gonna run this lineup and then i'm gonna run my previous lineup i'm gonna show you that you don't so rainier will buff massively our uh Marily plus debuff the boss and this is, will allow you to deal more damage with her and more damage with everybody else. Not the same amount of damage that you will deal with using Coco if you're free to play and you have the same lineups. So everybody are built here. Why I'm not doing the same amount of damage? Let's go, let's go and check it. It's because of the stats of the units that I have plus the RNG of the boss. So the boss, right now he dropped the laser many times. He doesn't drop the laser at the start. Even if his bar is full, he just dropped 
his uh, uh, units, which are the mobs. And that's what, what is going on with me when I'm playing versus this boss. So here we go. Let's check how much damage we can do. And as you see, Smokey here is dealing damage. Uh, many people are telling me, oh, try to play it without Smokey. It's kind of hard because of the laser that the boss is doing. We tried Ludovic and uh, uh, Talin, and it didn't work that much. and didn't give us the most damages. Now, as you see... Uh, uh, Rainier is taking a lot of damage, hopefully he will not die, and he didn't die because of the healing of Smokey, not because of the shields of the evocation spell, but when the evocation spells hits and give us the shield while we're taking the laser, he will survive actually that, uh, that burst damage, and here we go, we got the shields, you see, we got the shields on point, he survived, and we're dealing more damage, as you see, 34.3 billion damage this is not my highest score now of course this is depending on rng and this is very good actually this lineup did a lot better than the two runs that i did with this lineup especially marily right now and especially corin corin did a lot of damage now kruger is helping out with the damage plus he will do the physical shred it means if you're starting the battle or in the middle of the battle dealing auto attacks by marily and it's not true damage uh, because it's physical she will be dealing more damage because of his debuff Plus the quick blade will help, but it will not allow you to survive on your units more and more or on Rainier to do his last debuff by the end of the battle, which is okay. You can play it. If you have a level 22 quick blade, this will work perfectly fine. Now let's go and check my lineup. Okay, let's share this. Let's go and check my lineup and uh, how I did. Actually, this was the biggest uh, score so far which I did better score uh, previously and uh, I, I hit 36 billion I think with the Coco team but it depends on RNG this is a very RNG team why it's RNG now I'm using uh, OD as well to add more damage I'm using three carries semi carry and the buffer debuffer so uh, what or buffer is she's not a debuffer she will give you life save she will give you shields she will give you a uh, defensive uh, de uh, buffs on your team so you can survive the lasers and she will give everybody attack bonus which is really good really awesome everybody will have life steal so you'd survive more now uh, the vocation spell is perfect with this now you can play something like the quick blade I didn't test it and it's lower if I want I think I can do good scores with it but it will not give me the most beneficial score because I want the attack speed as much as possible which the evocation spell allow you to do that now here we're gonna go and test this lineup I'm gonna show you uh, I saw a lineup playing Thorin Thorin does not work perfectly with this lineup no because his timing are not consistent with the mobs when they drop on the field when skyclops drop them like that he doesn't deal his aoe and hit them and sometimes he does drop these and he's charging his uh ultimate while everybody is dead and it's backward or to the side which doesn't hit the boss and it will not allow you or help you to benefit from dealing more damage now we're at 25 billion right now and with our 40 seconds which is really good relatively hopefully the boss will do his laser and not drop that yes okay so we can deal more damage and now he will drop his units and we're dealing a lot of damage to them and we're cleaning them fast which is really good in 20 seconds we need to do like 4 billion and i did that before but it's not super consistent as you see this is wasn't the best run but it's good actually to hit the lineups in the end he drops the minion sometimes he doesn't he does his laser instead it's very very rng this is what i wanted to talk about i don't know why there's lags and let's check the damages of course merrily is dealing uh, the most amount of damage similar to her corin is dealing damage uh smoky is dealing a lot of damage because he's buffed by coco rainier was buffing only our merrily but coco is buffing the entire team so everybody is dealing a lot of damage plus odi is dealing a lot of damage now i replaced odi i put uh rainier to buff uh my merrily and i kept coco I didn't play Kruger. It didn't give me the highest numbers uh, actually because we lost uh, almost 7, 7 billion. It's, I think 7, 70 billion, 7 billion damage from uh, Odi, which 7 billion is a lot actually. Which Rainier will give you at least a billion maybe or two uh, and he will add 2 billion to uh, Marily, but it will not calculate up to a 7 billion of Odi's damage. This is why I recommend... If you're free to play and you didn't build any hypo and celestial you if and you built the normal characters you can go with this lineup now if you built rainier you can go with the previous lineup that i showed you it's really good it's consistent as well and it will give you the highest numbers and you can rank in the top 50 consistently now of course by the end of the day i'm gonna get more levels i'm gonna put on Marily and corin and i will go and deal more damages to the boss now if i was lucky and the boss drops uh, less minion and deals more uh, laser damage 
and uh, you, you have this time gap to deal damage because when he drops minion you don't deal damage to the boss I will be luckier and I will go, go to the top 20 I did like 36 or 37 billion before on the previous run with lower uh, uh, levels on my heroes like every hero was 10 to 20 levels less but it was uh, the RNG with the boss dropping the minions and I did get to the top 20 which is absolutely fantastic and uh, uh, this is what I could I would hope to recommend to everybody especially free to play players that didn't build any hypo and celestials unit which is gonna help you with this run and that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't I thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace